Okay, everyone, this is Ben again. I'm here doing another session on Venue Magic. What we're going to do is we're going to take what I did on Saturday, make one little modification to the uh, device profile, uh, the user fixture, and uh, I'll explain why, and then we'll go from there. So let's do that first. So the first thing we're going to do is... Um, when you're um, one of the problems with fixtures is, is how to go about displaying them so one of the things that we've done let me go into the user fixture library here one of the things that I did a decision I made probably not the best decision was actually put the strobe on a dimmer channel one of the things that we do is we when we're using the dimmer channel type when we go to display it over in our 2d viewer uh, the dimmer channel basically will, if you have one, more than one dimmer channel, it'll average out. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to actually edit this. Um, actually, I need to remove it, and I'm going to re-add it in as a selector type. And we're going to call it strobe. And we're just going to have one selection. I then have to change the selection to a dimmer fader. Otherwise, it'll just average to 50, and that's the only setting value I have. We'll get into this later uh, on today when I do another video on setting up uh, ones with uh, selectors specifically. So, but for this video, we're just going to change that to a selector, change it to a dimmer fader selector, save and close. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and add all of my fixtures in. So I'll go to user library again. Optoma. Actually, what I can do is uncheck this. I'll get all of my user fixtures. There's my PAR64. We're going to add four of them, which is what comes in the basic pack uh, that's included on these uh, for this particular set of uh, lights. Notice it automatically sets, tells you what the dip switch settings should be for each of the numeric values. So, channel 16, you just turn on switch 5. So, and then obviously switch 10, 11, 12, if, depending on the light, you've got to adjust that according to the, the manual itself. So, But that's the basic four. Go ahead and click close. I'm going to drag these fixtures over here to my <clears throat> over here to my lamp preview. Three, four. Okay. Um, now the goal for today is just to create a basic chaser. What I, but one of the things I want to make sure I cover is groups. This makes it a whole lot easier to be able to add channels to a track, um, put things together. Uh, there's some very, very powerful functionality here. So one of the things I'm going to, so the first group I'm going to create is for dimmers. One of the things we've done is we've added the ability to do a special select. So if I want to just pick all of my dimmer channels and not care about the particular fixture, I can just do that, show selected. You can see it automatically grabbed my four dimmer channels. Create a new group. We're going to call this color. Special again. Come down here, RGB. Click OK. Notice it gave me my four color channels. So now I can basically from here, instead of coming in here to each individual fixture, each individual channel, and dragging that over my Latin track, I now have groups I can drag over and use those groups to do my, to do my programming to. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this to Chaser, or to Chase, and then this one to Color. Drag my Color to Color, my Dimmer to Chase, and now, one thing to know is that we are we actually did go through the effort to actually prevent you from doing things that uh, would cause problems for like crea creating duplicate channels. So we don't allow you to do that. So we protect you from doing funny things that, won't, that will cause problems later on. So first thing I'm going to do is grab a level control for the color, drag, drop it in here. I like to create, for my DJ sets, I like to create loops. 
Uh, and then make my loops uh, beat tap sensitive because I can create a whole lot of different loops, give me a whole lot of different uh, looks to my to what I'm showing, uh, and it can go. I can do it really really fast. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set some color transitions. So I've got RGB here. Um, I'm going to put green and go here, and I'm going to do blue. And then, just so that I can actually, um, instead of transitioning to black each time, I'm going to actually transition to red. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to do red, and I'm going to show you a nice little feature called Snapshot Channels. Click play, stop. Now what I can do, because that's my current value that's being sent out to the lights, I can actually snapshot all of my current values copy it to the first and last handles in the in the envelope click OK and notice I now have red at both ends so I can now delete this handle because I was just using that to to get my value right And you can see I'm transitioning from red to green to blue back to red Okay. now with these I can drag them back and forth in time if I had an audio track I wanted I was programming an audio track, I can show that. But for now, this is generally it. The other thing you have to do is you have to make sure that you copy this set of values to the rest of the fixture. So I'm going to right click on that, click copy, right click, click paste, paste, and paste. And now all four of my light fixtures are going to have the same color. I could you choose different colors. I could make individual changes, so I could make my transitions different for each individual fixture. But for now, I'm just going to leave the basic transition. Another nice thing about uh, what we've done here with our envelopes is we can now scale envelopes on resize. So normally, when you resize, notice it doesn't resize the two points on the timeline. When you're working with loops, scale envelopes on resize is really, really helpful because I can lengthen my transitions. So if I want it to take two minutes instead of just one minute to transition be, uh, from red back to red, all I have to do is set, check that box, come in here, and make my length longer. It will automatically extend the transition. Most loops, one minute is usually good enough. So now we've got to set up our chaser. I, For all of my loops, I like to use the beat tapper on my chaser. We're just going to go ahead and leave it doing this default chase. There's my channel order. Click OK. Now, because I already dragged my fixtures over here at the beginning, I should be able to click play and actually have a chase. So it's chasing at 106. If I speed it, if I tap really fast, speeds up to 336. I can slow it back down. I can do whatever my beat of the music is. Okay. Notice it transitioned to green. Now it's transitioning to kind of a bluish green. Then it'll go to blue. Okay. And there you have a basic chaser with the color set on a different track. So you can use this type of uh, functionality for pretty much any fixture type as well. Moving heads, um, lots and lots of different things. So give me your feedback below. Glad to help you out and uh, answer any other questions you have. Have fun.